In question two, we have to write the additive inverse of each of these five rational numbers. Now, what is the additive inverse? Well, the additive inverse of any number is another number such that if you add the two numbers, you get zero. So if you take a number x, the additive inverse of x will be minus x uh, because if you add x and minus x, you will get zero. So all we have to do is we have to find the additive inverse or the negative of each of these rational numbers that we um, that we are given. So in the first part, the rational number is 2 by 8. So the negative of 2 by 8 will be minus 2 by 8. And this will be the additive inverse of 2 by 8. And we can verify that this is correct. If we take 2 by 8 and we add it to minus 2 by 8, the numerators will add to 0 and we will get 0. So the additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8, which I can write here. Now, in the second part, the rational number is minus 5 by 9. So let's take the negative of this, um, which means we can take the numerator and invert the sign of the numerator. So that will give us 5 by 9. So 5 by 9 is the additive inverse of minus 5 by 9. And we can check that this is correct. If we take minus 5 by 9 and if we add 5 by 9 to it, the numerators minus 5 and 5, they will add to 0 and we will get 0. So the additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 is 5 by 9. Now in part 3, the rational number is minus 6 by minus 5. So how do we take the negative of this? Well, we can just take the numerator, which is minus 6 and invert the sign of the numerator and that will give us 6 by minus 5. So the additive inverse of minus 6 by minus 5 is 6 by minus 5 and we can verify that this is correct. Minus 6 by minus 5 if we take the original number and we take 6 by minus 5, the denominators are the same and the numerators minus 6 and 6, they will add to 0. Um, so 6 by minus 5 is the additive inverse of minus 6 by minus 5 and we can write 6 by minus 5 typically in rational numbers if one of the numerators or denominators is, is negative um, we take the new we take the numerator to be negative we write the negative sign in the numerator so 6 by minus 5 can be written also as minus 6 by 5 so the additive inverse of minus 6 by minus 5 is minus 6 by 5 the other way to have done this same question is the original number minus 6 by minus 5 uh, minus 6 by minus 5 you can cancel out you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by negative 1 so this is the same as 6 by 5 and now you can write the additive inverse of 6 by 5 easily as minus 6 by 5 okay so that's part 3 in part 4 the number is 2 by minus 9 and to take the negative of this number, let's invert the sign of the numerator and that will give us minus 2 by minus 9. So the additive inverse of 2 by minus 9 is minus 2 by minus 9 and we can check that this is correct. If we take 2 by minus 9 and add minus 2 by minus 9 to it, the numerators will add to 0 and we, uh, we will get 0. Now once again, minus 2 by minus 9, we can write it more simply by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by minus 1 or dividing both the numerator and denominator by minus 1, we can write this as 2 by 9. So we can basically uh, cancel out the negative, uh, sim negative signs from both the numerator and the denominator. So in part 4, the additive inverse of 2 by minus 9 is 2 by 9. And finally, in part 5, the number is 19 by minus 6 and we can invert the sign of the numerator to get minus 19 by minus 6 and once again we can check that this works 19 by minus 6 plus minus 19 by minus 6 if you do this calculation the numerators will add to 0 so you will get 0 so your additive inverse is minus 19 by minus 6 but once again you can write it more simply as you can cancel out the negative signs from both the numerator and the denominator and you can write this as 19 by 6. So in part 5 the required additive inverse is 19 by 6 
and this completes all five parts of question number two. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.